Just little ears in the background. Hello, welcome back to another fold while I told ya about uh, my past. Lame, I had a better one when I was on a walk today and I completely forgot it because that's where I'm at in my life, okay? Just turned 39, I forget things frequently. What do you want from me? Which is ironic and a great lead in to today's video, you guys. Last week I did a video talking about um, my life. Well, first of all, if you're new here, hi, hello, <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel. Once a week I do these videos where I fold clothes and just do a story time. So pause this video if you want to get over to a chore that you've been putting off um, and come on back and let's get this party started. Okay, so like I said, last week, I um, was talking about my work, my job as a birthday party princess, and someone in the comments was like, oh man, I always felt really bad for like the head characters, the people that worked at Disneyland in like the big suits, like that must have been so awful. And then I had a light bulb moment where I was like, oh my God, how did I even forget to mention? And it like didn't even think of the fact, guys, I worked at Disneyland, <laughs> guys. I was Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I feel like I'm not supposed to tell that. That's like the cardinal rule. I was uh, friends with Mickey and Minnie and I like just completely forgot about it and I don't think about it often until that comment came up and I was like, oh yeah, I have so much to tell you guys about that. So believe it or not, uh, that was a job of mine one summer in college. I went to UC Irvine, which is in Orange County, which is very close to Anaheim, uh, where Disneyland is. And it was kind of like a thing that a lot of, I was in like the theater department at UC Irvine. It was just like a thing that a lot of people uh, in that program did is work at Disneyland. Cause it was, you know, like an entertainment job and it seemed fun. And I don't know, it just is what people did. So one summer, a good friend of mine, and I decided that we would audition to be one of the characters at Disneyland. Now, of course, in my head, like, all I wanted to do was be like Alice in Wonderland or Tinkerbell. I didn't qualify for either of those. I don't know if it was a height issue, maybe a weight issue, whatever the issue was with me, Disney. Uh, I didn't get to be one of those people. But I did the full audition to be one of the head characters because I knew my height, 5'1", was like super appropriate for Mickey and Minnie for a lot of the characters. Like they needed short people uh, to fill those roles. And if you guys, I'm sure you guys are all like slightly familiar with Disney, but um, they were just like so... Uh, specific about literally everything you know like you really had to fit this perfect mold this perfect height this perfect everything so that they could keep this illusion of these characters alive and that there was consistency consistency throughout um the whole park and everything so um you know I guess I really wasn't Alice in Wonderland worthy uh, and it might have scared a child if they saw me and they're like Alice in Wonderland ate too much. This college you guys. I was getting stoned and eating a lot. You know what I mean? Anyhow uh, we had a friend who was in all the um, parades there. She was like a dancer and a performer and that wasn't like my strong suit so uh, she suggested that we try out for all the head characters and the head characters are you know like the actual like big costume heads that you see at Disneyland. So uh, she set us up to do the audition and it was like oh, I mean I now don't remember like the exact details but it was definitely like a three-day event so you had to get there you had to sign like, all this paperwork you know the usual and then they had to um, measure you like measure your height um, take pictures like the whole shebang and then we had to learn like a full-on dance um, and it was like very like you know it was just like all the moves um, we had to do a dance and we had to perform it in front of a panel I don't remember like what else beyond that. I'm sure we had to like introduce ourselves and like do the hand movements that they taught you because each character has like very specific movements. Um, but yeah, it was like a full on like Broadway audition essentially. Um, and then I got word that I got the job and so did my friend. My friend, she played Jessie and Pluto. I don't remember. I just remember her playing Jessie from Toy Story and oh, she was like, Chip and Dale, I think, um, and I, 
And July, ladies and gentlemen, fit the bill for Mickey and Minnie and a few other like random ones, but those were the ones that I did the most. So once we like actually got the job, then we had to go into an intense training period. I'm sure it was like a paid training and it was really fun. I mean, listen, it was so cool because we got this opportunity to like see behind the scenes. Um, and you know, we got our like Disney, like I still have it. <laughs> I should pull it out. I have my like Disney, um, what you call it, badge or name tag. And we got the full experience. And so we trained and trained and trained. We learned how to sign names for the characters. We learned all the odds and ins and odds, odds and ins, all the, all the bits and pieces. <laughs> we learned all the bits and pieces. Um, and it was cool. Like, I wish I would have kind of been a little bit more present through a lot of it. You know, when you're in college, at least for me, it was just like a summer job and we were just like partying in between training and like not partying at training, but you know what I mean? Like I wasn't like dedicated to this job. It was just another job, but I wish I would have like soaked it in a little bit more to be able to like have kind of more clear and cool memories about all the process but it was cool to see behind the scenes and the big thing was like they really like schedule everything perfectly and everything's mapped out perfectly so that if you were in the park in one area it would make it like basically like a mickey mouse would be in one area of the park and by the, by the time you like got to another place where another mickey was it would in theory make sense that that mickey could have traveled to here so that it never like crossed your mind that there was more than one mickey in the world do you know what i mean i didn't explain that well by the way we like went out of town for my birthday and we had so much fun um but my voice is like totally gone and I definitely feel like I got a cold uh, because we uh, stayed out too late and it, I don't know, we just had so much fun. Anyhow, I say stayed out too late, like literally we stayed out to like 10 <laughs> and got up and like did it again. Um, anyhow, so yeah, the training was cool, but there were so many rules and regulations. I mean, I feel like the book, like the booklet, the intro packet was just like huge and we, I, gosh, I wish I remembered exactly, but I think we, like, at least did a couple weeks of training. So, that's when I started being like, oh, I, maybe this isn't exactly for me. It's not that I didn't really like the work. Well, we'll get to that, but um, there's definitely, like, a big culture behind working at it. Obviously, there's, like, a lot of Disney fanatics, but there's also, like, a culture um, in terms of people that work there. Now, this is a blanketed statement. This was also so long ago, so if you work there and I'm misrepresenting you, I apologize. Um, this is just, like, such, like, a narrow POV that I, like, is a little bit foggy in some ways, but basically it was, like, Listen, I'm a theater nerd and I came from a world of theater nerds. It was like that, but like amped up to the umph Disney degree. And I feel like I was like super clicky also. And again, this might be um, me and my like social anxiety. I just like, I had trouble like kind of connecting and making friends with people there. And I think maybe that would have been a different experience for me had I actually made some friends. I pretty much just stuck with my one friend from college and then a few other people that were like the weirdo outcasts so that was kind of informed like ultimately why I never ended up going back beyond the summer that I was there. Anyhow some cool stuff is that you would get your schedule once we went through the training I was like all right here we go you know like we're, we're doing this so you would get your schedule and it would tell you which character you you were and what section of the park you were working and whether it was like um, I think I did a lot of like meet Mickey at Mickey's house. I can't remember what, or Minnie's house. I did both. Um, so those kind of things were like more static or if you were going to like be one of the people walking the park or if you were going to be at one of the restaurants. So you'd get that assignment and then, you know, your time and everything. And then you would show up and it was so cool. Like at each different place, there was like all these different stations around the park. You would have your like dressing room where you would go, you would check in and then you would go and you would check out a costume. And it was like, almost like going to the dry cleaners and you would see all the like clothes, but it was all clothes for the characters. Like that kind of stuff. Now when I think back and probably even when I was there, it's like, so cool like you would see like a million mickey pants and gloves and so you would check out your costumes and then uh you would like report to your 
person. I feel like we had like a captain or something. And then basically you would only be out in the world on like in Disneyland for, I think it was 20 at the time. It was 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off something like that like you, the longest you would be out there was for 20 minutes and then they would bring you back in and then you would rest for like you know 20 to 30 is that right 20 on 30 off something like that where it's like they actually you don't the majority of the work was all about like getting there doing the costumes setting up um, but when you're really on stage it wasn't for that long of a time uh, but you would do it several times does that make sense again my brain is a little bit slow today um, because you were in those giant heads and uh, I was doing it during the summer so it was so hot and I think it's just like dangerous at that point so they had that system down so in theory like within an hour ugh, you would be seeing oh god math you would be seeing a lot of different Mickeys in the same location they would just switch them out um, so when you see that, you'll see like the Mickey be like, okay, and I'll be, bye, I'll take a break. I mean, they're not talking about their like helper assistant, you know, walks them out and then they come right back out. It's a, obviously a different Mickey. So it was really interesting because the people in the costumes, uh, playing Mickey, some of them were like iconic, like they had been there forever, like older people, like you would be shocked if Mickey had took off their head or Minnie had taken off their head, like um as to who's under there men women like uh, old young the whole thing it's <laughs> didn't discriminate as long as you were the height and you were passionate and you could do the moves like you were good to go so I always found that fascinating to meet the different people that were doing the same part as me um trying to think about like horror stories I have a few fun stories uh in terms of my experiences there while in the park like on do they call it on stage? I feel like they called it on stage. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, okay, one time I saw Scary Spice when I was Minnie Mouse. She was really nice. Another time I was taking a picture with this like little girl. She was so cute and her mom comes up to me and gets me a hug and she whispers into my ear, I used to do this job when I was your age. Like, thank you so much for what you're doing. And I thought that was so sweet. Maybe she didn't say my age because she didn't know how old I was, but she was like, I did this job before. Um, and I, that, I thought that was really sweet. I have two like quote horror stories, although I'm wondering if I like blocked out other ones. Um, one I just remember, for some reason I wasn't with a handler. A handler, they called him like Mickey's friend or Minnie's friend, but it's basically just someone to like, help you get around if you're wandering in the park if that's your position and also help with like crowd control um and it's probably so much different now again this was like say oh, 2002 three four somewhere in there so i for some reason was not with a handler but i was supposed to do this one little area um meet and greet and for some reason, I got so turned around at the end, like after my few minutes or 20 minutes, 20, 10. If you guys work there or have worked there, let me know. I'm curious. Anyways, I was out and about kind of at the end of Main Street and I got so turned around in the head. Like it's actually giving me anxiety thinking about it. Like, you know, your view, the costumes are pretty good and you could like see, but like, you know, you're still in a giant head and there's a crowd around you. And for some reason, I got so completely disoriented as to where I was and then where I was needed to go to get backstage that I like kind of went into a panic and like was kind of like, you know, gracefully uh, spinning around trying to like get my bearings. And I remember that being like absolutely horrifying because there's nothing you can do. It's not like you can take off the head or shout or you know you just kind of have to keep going until you figure it out so that um that sticks with me as something super scary and then i just remember there being like some very pushy tourists like just pushy people who wanted to get the picture who would grab who would step who would you know and i don't even know if they were doing it on purpose i don't you know when you're there i just don't think you realize like 
it's also overwhelming in the best way when you're there and it's like feels so magical and there's like, so much stimulus but I feel like you like kind of it's easy to forget that there's someone actually inside of those costumes a good reminder for us all um that I feel like people feel entitled like to like like they feel like they own you in a way or that you I don't know like you're a prop like everything else there and so there was definitely like a lot of that and I think um I remember a goofy that I worked with pretty sure he got pushed down or you know you've heard some horror stories about people that have been like hurt <laughs> attacked punched and stuff there um but overall like they definitely had like quite a system in that you know, they had a million bajillion people working all at once and everything kind of ran like clockwork. So if something was off or wrong, they usually would take care of it uh, pretty quickly. But yeah, so wild going through these memories and I hope that I explained uh, all of it in an interesting way. I really haven't thought about this in such a long time. I do remember they threw us a pretty cool party. It was like a theme. I can't remember what the theme. Oh, maybe it was a Halloween party. And like, a few of us went as the Wizard of Oz, but, like, sexy Wizard of Oz. Did I look sexy? Probably not. What did I go as? Maybe sexy lion? Yeah, it was really a time. I think more than anything, it's just fun to say, like, I did that. My parents came and visited me. I had some friends that visited me. And when you work there, you've got, like, uh, you can go anytime you want, which kind of made it not as fun, because you're like, I work here. I don't really need to, like, hang here. But, um... Yeah, all my family and friends liked it because I could sign them in and they could come for free, which was like such a luxury. Yeah, uh, wow, crazy throwback. Thank you for whoever commented about that. I think I wrote back to you and was like, oh my God, I forgot I was that person. Um, you just jogged such a funny memory for me. Man, I've really had a lot of weird jobs. Curious to know if any of y'all worked at a theme park before. A lot of my friends, like, were performers at theme parks and, like, the shows and stuff. But that was all, like, super musical and I just wasn't equipped for those jobs. But I think that's really cool. And subsequently, a lot of friends did the same thing but on cruise ships. Actually, I had a really good dear friend of mine. She worked on a Disney cruise ship for years and years and years. And she was in all the shows, but she also were, were like, the face characters that walked around. So, kind of cool, kind of cool. There's a weird job out there for everyone and something for everyone. You just gotta kind of figure out what it was. But ultimately, like I said, I just didn't like, the culture didn't strike me. I didn't really jive with the people I worked with. And you know, it was a taxing job also. It was hard. It was a trek to get there. And even though you weren't on stage, like I said, for that long, you still were putting in a lot of physical uh, work. And uh, I just wasn't really cut out for it. <clears throat> Although now I'd love to go back and see if I could ever be a princess. Actually, that would be horrifying. They'd be like, um, you're way too old. <sighs> I was always so jealous, wanted it so bad. In my next life, in my next life. Anyways, y'all, um, wow, what a blast from the past. I know I owe you guys a Jamba Juice story. I was just trying to get um, the picture of me in the drama juice outfit but it's up on my dad so i'm going to try to get up there um to get that for you guys just so you can see how silly and ridiculous it is but if there's anything else you all want me to talk about or um jobs i haven't covered i think i mentioned there was like a bubble master situation god i know there must be more in there Leave comments below. You guys might jog my memory even some more. And hey, I really like just love doing this with you. And um, I hope that you're enjoying it. And thanks for checking out my videos this week. I know I had two sponsored videos in a row and I appreciate you um, going with the flow on that. Cup She is just like my monthly one that I have so much fun doing. And yesterday I did one for Lily Silk and I meant to put it up tomorrow so that they didn't feel so back to back. Um, but it was a little birthday gift for myself to get those up and out and take a few days off uh, from filming. But I am back in real time. So um, here I am. I love you all very much. Appreciate you greatly. And uh, hey, whatever your job is, just know uh, you are not alone if it isn't your end all be all job and that there's more out there. And um, yeah, I don't know. I felt like I wanted to say something like poetic and inspirational and it didn't come out that way. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's me. Okay, love you guys. I'm still going. I like, want to finish on time as I finish this. I want to finish the video right when I hold the last piece. Nailed it. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.